up? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Mordai J and we are locked in. This is episode seven of Bel Air and we have a little beef on our hands. And I'm talking about between Uncle Phil and Fred, the chief of police. Also with the Banks family versus his family. Now we already know that Aunt Viv was feeling the type of way about Fred's new wife. And we know that our man Reed was over at the house and Uncle Phil is onto his case. So before we get into this episode, shout out to the notification gang. If you're new to the channel, you'll be a part of it. Hit the subscribe button, turn on your notification bell so you get something every time I upload. Hit that like button, it's the easiest thing you can do. Now, we got a lot on our plate here. Carlton, he's recovering from his little night of uh, drugs and Will, he's with Lisa and it looks like they're getting closer. Also, the last thing we seen was our girl Heal and she changed up on us. I'm talking about lingerie and cooking. Let's see how that plays out when the banks get a hold of this. So let's jump into it. This is episode seven of Bel Air. We start the episode off and I have made it clear that there's a beef on our hands between Phil and Fred. Now he brings in Will and he wants to ask him, how close are you to Lisa? Because she's important to the family. But now on the other hand, Fred is trying to ask Lisa, do you know why Will is here? Cause if you remember in the first episode, Fred was there and he heard a little bit about Will. And we also heard Phil tell Viv that I think Fred's a little curious. So what he's trying to do is get Lisa to spy on Will. And at the same time, Phil is trying to get Will to keep reserve and don't tell everything to Lisa. Last week, I told you the episode should have been called Hush. We need to keep that same model this week. Hush, no talking. Now we know that Bel Air is sponsored by Lexus because everyone in the house has a Lexus, but uh, our boy Fred pulled up in the black Blackalade. I can't say Escalade because you know, they took the emblem off the grill, but he's telling Lisa, look, you need to separate yourself from Will, at least till the election's over. Don't go over to their house. Don't interact with them. Now he does want that information on Will, but don't go over to the house because the same thing that he wants her to do, he knows Uncle Phil's gonna do it by picking her brain. Okay, what do you think? What do your family do? Oh, you guys do this? But of course, these kids ain't listening to nobody. They here trying to make out with each other. Cause that's what it's all about in high school, isn't it? Now Lisa's talking about, we gotta tell Carlton about us. I know we're hiding from everyone else. Will's kind of hesitant on it. He's like, uh, yeah, you're right. I'd have said, we ain't going steady. We just messing around. We don't need to let anybody know this. Plus Uncle Phil just told me not to be vulnerable and open it up to you. Old girl comes in the kitchen like, he'll, I lost some money. I didn't think you would post that sexy video. She said, I didn't do it. She like, well, Kylo must have did it. And now she's looking at it like, oh my God, I, I recorded that and did that. You signed the contract. You're an adult. Read the contract, people. Read the fine print. You signed up to live here. You signed up to give daily content. And once you submit something, it is what it is. Now our sexual expert is here is talking about the cloud. Everything's fair game, but she also says, let's not shame sex workers. Uh, yeah, we should. Prostitution is illegal in 49 states. Well, technically 50, but Vegas has different rules, but that's neither here or there. Now he'll, she's looking at it like, man, what, what, what's going on? And I mean, this is the cost of being an adult. You want to go do adult things? You better read what the adults write on that paper in black and white. Now Hillary's trying to spin it black women were over hyperly sexualized kylo didn't record that you recorded that what do you mean over you did that you were getting hot in the kitchen what do you mean no one told you to record that you did that now i'm not too sure what's going on here but the campaign needs more money because the fundraiser started to pull out everyone that was donating at first even though we had a small pool over at the skating rink where I told you they weren't gonna make any money there, but y'all laughed at me and now look at it, they don't have enough money. But he needs to stay on the offensive because he knows Fred is out there. Now he's asking Viv, hey, can we put more money in here? And she's like, let, let me think of it. I thought Phil raised millions of dollars. You shouldn't have to ask to put money into your own campaign of your own funds if you raised all this money. But now it's got the community and me thinking maybe we don't have all the money that we were talking about. Maybe Uncle Phil, he just isn't paid like that. But I understand you don't want to spend your money. And when they asked uh, the campaign manager, how much you going to donate? He said, uh, yeah, about that. You want me to go get the money back? <laughs> Meaning they already put some money in there. As I was saying, I knew the money had came from his account. But geez, Louise, you can't even take money out of your own account. She's talking about your account. Yeah, it's his funds. That's why I say even in a marriage, you both have your separate accounts, but then you have one account together. 
that's how you should do it that's how you should do it so when you want to do things on your own you don't need permission for it but you still have a pot that covers the household and everything else you have you would think somebody like uncle phil and aunt bill two professionals would have this down by now carlton out here messing up in practice coach is like man the hell with this <laughs> water break time out time out water break now his teammate you know the one that was doing hot nigga mm -hmm, you know what i'm saying the one that set will up he's like carlton you gotta get right or we gonna we gonna get kicked out the playoffs hell carlton can't even stay in the game anymore but you hear him go over with the white kids and he says well at least that's one sport they can't take away from us and now carlton's starting to get the realization that it doesn't matter how much money you make it doesn't matter what sport you play it doesn't matter where you live when you look down at your skin you still a nigga and that's all you are in their eyes and that's what will wanted you to realize you're hanging with them and you're letting them do things but then when they turn on you now what that's what I'm talking about. Carlton got some fire in his eye now. They did all that talking. Put him on the scrimmage team. Yeah, well, when Connor gets this ball, mm -hmm, now I got you. Tears him up, too. It looked like he may have broke his wrist. Carlton, you may have looked, took it too far, but, hey, it is what it is. Will comes over to console his cousin, and he's like, did you do that on purpose, man? You can keep it real with me. He's like, man, he deserved it. And now Will is saying, I'm proud of you. But now you see how it was when I first came out here, and everybody was looking at me, making fun of me, and I had to build me a kingdom. So now Carlton and Will, they're starting to get closer, and that's what I've been expecting. I've been wanting this to happen. But Carlton's getting that realization that your family comes first, then your friends. So it's, I'm glad that Will actually talked to him about this, and this is all I've been wanting to see. But there's still the news of him messing with Lisa. Will decides to throw a party of the year to make up for everything that's been going on with Carlton. Now, Carlton is saying, hey, Will, let's be careful, because all I got is the chess club and the debate team. Weirdos that we don't want at the party. But Will's like, forget it. I got the basketball team and football team. We're going to make it happen. But Carlton, he's very cautious about this because Hillary got a six months, six months of being grounded for almost burning down the house when she threw a party. And Will's like, I got this. That means Will doesn't got this. Me and Anviv got the same reaction when we seen this. Now, I went on a little rant about this during our live, but Hillary, what were you thinking? There was no way in, in no world did you think that recording this would be good. Especially inside that house when you got them two knuckleheads running around. Hillary still wants this taken down. But even her mom, Aunt Viv, says, you recorded yourself doing this. Now, she wants to go in there and ask Uncle Phil, can, can you get me out of my contract? But Aunt Viv is saying, you did this. Try and save yourself. Now, your dad's going to do everything he can to protect you and get you out of this. But being able to get yourself out of situations would also be good. Hillary tells Uncle Phil, hey, no thanks, Dad. I'll handle it. Don't worry about it. Now, Viv says, hey, the boys are going to have a couple of people over. It shouldn't be too hard for you. Oh, matter of fact, I'm going to head down to San Diego, you know, to a little art festival. You know, get some exposure. He's like, were you going to tell me? She said, oh, I was just going to do it, and then you'll get on board. So she's about to drive a couple of hours out of the way because he spent some money out of his account. But that's how these marriages go, you know. Tick for tack, you know. You do something, I do something back instead of us talking it out and moving past it. Uncle Phil, here's his wife is about to go down to San Diego. Now we know Jeffrey's been on Reed's case and he has the itinerary. Guess what? He's going to be in San Diego too. And Viv failed to mention that he's going to be there. But hey, they always fail to mention that a guy that's been flirting with him is going to be somewhere that they're going to be at. But Jeffrey's saying, hey, this guy right here, he has some pull. He has a little bit of power. He's the man you need to look out for. Now Uncle Phil's like, damn, I was going to book a spa day. No, ain't enough. She's getting a whole wall with Reed. Viv said, let me hop in this Lexus. I'm going to drive that two hours to San Diego. We're going to go to this little expo. Now, when she gets there, Reed is like, there's so many people. They're excited to see you. This is a chance for her to get exposure. He also got her a suite. So she's not just here for the day. She's staying the night. We about to have the party of the year. Will's introducing himself there. Oh, what's going on? Y'all good? Carlton over here, he's down and out. But Will's saying, hey, after we have this, you get to reinvent yourself. My boy Carlton, he hit that drink. Talking about ain't no one here. Carlton, it's like three in the afternoon, bro. Give it some time. My man Reed got rid of those little curls or whatever it is. He said, I'm about to just brush it out. But he's went to his go-to, and that's, hey, Viv, I know you're a little uncomfortable. 
let's ease it up let's get something to drink but people want to nominate you they want you to put together a, a traveling art show they want you to do it they're gonna be throwing rose petals at your feet and she's just falling for it like oh my gosh this is the opportunity of a lifetime uncle phil had that itinerary he said you know what jeffrey i gotta go down there with my wife she down there with some dude named reed and he got them eyes i know he he trying to do but he shows up and she looks a little phil what are you doing here if you weren't doing nothing you weren't supposed to do then it wouldn't matter that your husband's here to support you smooth jazz he done pulled up to the show he was like what's going on he said hey it is what it is but will told me to pull up but i keep you company because he already hear music in the back let me get a cup of drink hey me and you here let's go kick it a little bit she talking about i like that uncle phil showed up and he has the whole house in order i got jeffrey taking ashley and the friends today trip i got hillary at the house watching carlton and will bad idea but i canceled everything to be out here with my wife now everything she was asking he had a counter for it now he's busy he has a campaign but he canceled all that for his wife sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do to go get that woman right this man reed is just too smooth even i wouldn't have a counter for him you guys know i'm pretty witty but he comes over and he's saying ah black love now viv is eating it up and he's like we got some people here that want to meet you she's talking who i'm ready uncle phil isn't liking it this brother keeps coming over and every time he comes over he's stealing my girl away lisa arrived at the party of the year because who's going to miss the party of the year and it's working out for both of them she's like what about your uncle he's out of town so they can do whatever they want but she's like wait a minute carlton is still here and we already know how carlton gets one thing can trigger him to go get on them drugs and hopefully we go an episode without him being on drugs now carlton got him a young thing over there they kind of got similar interests but she's saying dang you're nothing like your rep never judge a book by its cover but basically they're saying that carlton's a sellout the people he hangs with the white people the drugs he takes white people drugs he don't smoke no weed or nothing but she's saying there's nothing wrong with that and carlton's trying to say hey because i like different things yachts and you know what i'm saying and lacrosse i'm i'm not black this is a symbolization of what happened in the og where carlton had to defend his blackness viv and phil go back to the house and they get their little one-on-one -on -one time and he's saying i know people like reed i'm glad you got a lot of attention on you and you know this is what you want and i'm here to support you but i'm also your husband and my job is to protect you from people like reed and she's like oh big bad reed the guy that owns the art gallery but me and we know someone like reed smooth talking brother offering drinks you gotta watch out for them and that's all he just doesn't want him to get too close to his wife now she says she enjoys being around Reed, not because of how he looks at her, but how he looks at her artwork and saying that it's like the best thing and she's depriving the world by not giving her any of her artwork. But she said over the years, several people have been asking her, when is she gonna get back to art? Everyone except for Phil is asked. We got a new smooth guy alert. My man Jazz, him and Hill, they walking around, they had to kick some white people out the room. And they sitting there and they talking. He took up for her, helped get the people out of here. And they just move a little bit closer. And y'all know what that leads to. Mm-hmm. Jazz and Hill. Yeah. We all been wanting it. Now, they don't get no further than first base. Just a little bit of kissing. Now, he's like, don't answer that phone. Don't answer that phone. But it turns out it's Kylo. And we know that Hillary is standing up for herself. So she said, look, he's in Hollywood. You down the road? He said, you know it now we're getting into the meat and potatoes of the relationship uncle phil said he worked his butt off so she wouldn't have to work another day in life if she didn't want to now she appreciated it back then but of course she kind of resents it now because she was trying to meet all of her deadlines but that's one reason she put all of her art to the side now the saving she wanted from uncle phil was 15 years ago not come down here and save me carlton's going through it they didn't call him out on his black card and Will's like, what's wrong, man? Where's, where's old girl at? And he's like, Will, I'm not you. I'm not going to a new school. I'm not I'm not starting over. Just have fun. Now, Carlton's hearing all of this talk about him because at one point he was the cool guy, but he was the cool guy amongst the whites. Now, us blacks, we party a little bit differently and we hang out a little bit differently. Now, see, Carlton, he isn't into that yet, but he got Will. Will can be his liaison. Hill and our boy Jazz, they show up to this Hollywood party. Now, Jazz, he just along for the ride. A little extra security. He talking about, let me get a drink. 
we go over and talk to Kylo and Kylo is saying, hey, this is part of what you signed up for. But then he starts to show her her numbers and she's saying, I don't want to be known as that. That's not what my clientele is molded towards. You know what I'm saying? I want to cook food. I don't want to do that raunchy, thirsty chef. Now, another black lady comes up and says, oh, hey, girl, I like when I see a black sister doing her thing. Look at Kylo. He's like, see, you see that reaction? Now, Kylo's over here doing what Kylo does. He's setting up meetings. Victoria's Secret called and said, can they get an introduction? Now, we hear Jazz talking about take the video down, but when she hears Victoria's Secret, now she's thinking, oh, let me at least hear what they got to say. Yeah, sex sells. And that sex appeal, thirsty chef, mm. she hears Victoria's Secret and she turns Jazz into just a regular person. Jazz, go get us our drinks. And uh, Kylo said, yeah, get me whatever she's having. I would have been like, no, I'm not, I'm not no server boy. I don't go off and serve anybody. That's not what I'm here for. Will sitting down with the party of the year going on. And he's thinking about Carlton. Now Lisa comes over and we know that they're close. They're practically dating right now. And she's saying it's harder for Carlton to adjust because he was the only black kid here. So for him, it's a little bit different than it is for Will being an outsider. Carlton grew up in this environment. So all the people around him, the ones he thought were showing him love, for them to leave them, that's tough to adjust to, and it's not going to happen overnight. Now, Lisa then went up to Will's room. She's charging up the phone, and they're talking. Now, you remember what was supposed to be going on between these two. They're not supposed to be seeing each other during this campaign. Now, she's asking them questions, and what she's doing is fishing to try to see if Will's going to open up. I want to know all your secrets, Will. Why did you come from Philly? I would have just said, oh, because I have family out here, and it was an opportunity to hoop. That's it. There wouldn't need to be any other explanation. Carlton stands up for himself. John back here texts Carlton like, where you at, man? We in the game room. Now he also invited over Connor. It's like, man, you're nobody's enemy here. You know what I'm saying? We just want you to squash the beef with Connor. Now Carlton, he says, I will, but Connor has to apologize for all the racist stuff he said, all the homophobic things. He talked about blacks, him and Will. He talked about the Asians. He talked about the Hispanics. So Carlton is actually standing up for everybody at this moment. And just like that, Carlton got the black card back. Shorty in the corner with the cup, like, yeah, I see you, Carlton, I hear you. Turns out Lisa is actually her middle name. Her first name is Beulah. She's named after her grandma. Now she's like, what about you, Will? He said, well, my real name is Will. And I came from Philly to come to Bel Air to get a better education. That was the perfect answer. She's talking about, Will, you're so brave to move across the country and start all over. Well, he actually didn't start all over. He went to a better situation. But she's saying when you moved, you changed both of our lives for the better. Her phone charges up. Will's like, you want to go back to the party? She's like, nah, let's stay up here. Now, Will, don't be acting all nervous now. She went over to the bed too. Mm. Two consenting teenagers. He asked her, are you ready for this or are we moving too fast? She says, no, I'm ready for this, Will. Hopefully these kids use protection. The banks are trying to talk things through and see where they go from here and him talking about her insecurities. So what he does to make up for it, he says, how about we just go on a late night drive down the coast? She touches his face and tells him, maybe you should go home. Hmm? I done had a couple of drinks. We down in San Diego. We got a suite. Yeah, it's in your name, but we got a suite. Just like you said, we got a campaign. We got a bank account together. We staying in here tonight. I was right. Sent Jazz off to go get drinks. She went to go handle business. Now she's coming back with, I don't want to post that kind of content to Victoria's Secret's going to give her 15,000 a post. And he's talking about, I didn't know you could sell your dignity like that. She's talking about, oh, you don't know social media. And that's why I don't put my personal life on social media because social media isn't everything. But Jazz is saying, I rode with you down here to get your back. I stood up against Kylo just for you to turn around and agree with him and get in deeper with wearing lingerie. Because Victoria's Secret, last time I checked, they aren't selling trench coats. I think it's top and bottom, undies. But she's talking about, I can give you gas money. Jazz says, I'm out of here. Aunt Viv, she went out. What I tell you, Reed's go-to was a nice little drink. I thought you were in for the evening. Now she's really thinking, but now she's like, I'm going to save myself. Let's start thinking about names. She about to take it up a notch because you remember he said, people want you to go on the road. They want you to do little engagements, have a traveling art display. And she's thinking, why not? Let's do it. 
Will and Lisa upstairs. She talking about, I wish I could never leave. They get to kissing. Now Carlton's downstairs asking all the people that don't know who Will is, have they seen Will? Hey, have you guys that never spoke to Will or seen Will before, have you seen Will? Now while he's looking for Will, Connor texts, some new guests are about to arrive. Enjoy, asshole. This fool, Connor, a modern day Karen's son, he didn't call the police, talking about some new guests are gonna arrive. LAPD, who's the owner of this house? Now Carlton's starting to get that experience. The cop tell him, don't take another step. Even though he lives here, don't take another step. They got Carlton hemmed up. Will talking about, I gotta get downstairs. Lisa's saying, I can go down there, I can help. She is the chief of police's daughter. You know, saying, hey, my, my pops is Fred, what's going on here? But this is also gonna expose her for being around Will when her dad told her not to. Of course, her dad saves the day. Party's over, everyone go home. But now Carlton's looking at Will and Lisa, like what's really good? There you go. That's Bel Air. Let me know what you guys think because there's a lot of relationships that are a little rocky right now. First, we got Phil and Viv. I want to know what y'all think about that. Hillary and Jazz. And then, of course, what is Carlton going to do now that he found out that Will is getting freaky with Lisa? Let me know what you guys think. I'm Moda J. If you like the content on the channel, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Make sure you tune in Friday night, 9 p.m. Eastern for the after show live discussion of Bel Air. Thanks for watching. I'm out. Jimmy on a beat, boy.